fellow creatives and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be painting a sunrise that looks like a sunset but it's actually a sunrise. If you want to paint along you can quickly take a screenshot of the screen right now or you can just follow the link in the description to see the picture that we're painting. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. You'll be needing four colors of paint. White, red, blue and yellow. Then you can also use an acrylic retarder or an acrylic medium to have a certain effect on your paint. And then of course you'll need some brushes. Two cups for water and a small canvas to paint on. Then you need something to mix your paint on. I just used a dial. And then lastly a pencil and an eraser. Okay, let's take a quick look at the picture that we're going to be painting. We have the background with the sunset, the middle ground with the mountains and the foreground with the bushes and shrubs. Then we have a color palette containing a whole bunch of yellows and oranges and reds and even some purples and in the foreground just some dark purples and greens and then the grass that's kind of brown. Let's change up the composition of this picture a bit. I want to move the sun right to the center, move the tree a little bit, but we'll see what happens when we move along with the picture. First, take a ruler from corner to corner to figure out where the center of your painting will be. That is where you will paint the sun. After drawing in the rest of the scene, I'll just outline it with some black acrylic ink. Then it's time to start painting in the base layer. I'm just choosing a pretty neutral orange yellow color for this and we're just covering the whole sky with it. If you are using a stretched canvas, make sure that you also cover the sides. Now it's time to start adding a little bit more color to the sky by using a few different oranges and start to define the color areas of the sky. Now is a good time to start adding in some broad detail. So I'm starting adding in the small clouds with a pinkish purple color. This is basically the two colors that I mixed. The two main colors is a light purple and then just an orange, a lightish orange color. After broadly blocking in color areas, you can start to play around with the color a little bit and try to get your color as similar to the photograph as you want it. And this is done with a relatively large brush and then as we start adding details to the painting and defining the color areas more, we start moving down in brush size so you can start working with a smaller brush. Now for this part I am going to leave you a little bit on your own. You have to mix your own colors, you have to play around with your colors and you just have to practice to mix the colors and place them where the picture places them. And this whole process for me took very long, um, I think at least four hours. So just put some time aside to practice your craft and to really put in that effort into the sunset because the more details and the more effort you put in, the better the result will be in the end. If you still don't really feel that confident with mixing colors, you can check out my video on using a color gradient to help you to mix colors. Um, I think for a beginner that will really help. So I'm just gonna link it up in the right hand corner. But this part is really about just experiencing the colors that are in the sunrise sunset. It's actually a sunrise, but it looks like a sunset as well. And playing around and also not being afraid to make mistakes. The really good thing about painting with acrylics is that you can easily cover up your mistakes. As you can see here, I made a little mistake and then I just paint over it with some white paint and give it another orange base layer and then I just start adding the details again. The great thing about painting is if you mix the color once, you will know how to do it again. You know exactly which colors you mix together and you anyway only have four to choose from. But once you've mixed the color, you can easily do it again. So even if you make a mistake, you can just cover it up, paint over it and see it as part of the learning process. 
and even if you are already very good at painting you can still make mistakes you can still cover them up and you can still paint over them that's the magic of painting oh and while we're on the topic of white paint i also want to share this trick with you that you can do to get your colors a little bit more saturated so basically you paint over the area that you want to fill with a color with some white paint first and then you add the specific color that you want in that area so I mainly use this for the highlight areas of the clouds that's really close to the Sun because I really wanted to get the yellow saturation up a little bit the rest of the footage of me painting the background is basically adding details and details and details and more details and some more details and here are some details and being picky about details so let's move on to the middle ground the middle ground is probably the easiest of this whole tutorial so you basically just paint a first layer with a purple-ish color and then define the color areas as the light of the sunset falls on them so the middle part of the horizon will be a little bit lighter than the sides and because this isn't really the focus point and some of it isn't even going to be visible you don't have to spend that much time on it oh and i also just added some trees on the horizon um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the middle ground. Let's move on to the foreground. Okay, now it's time to paint the foreground. And to everybody's surprise, we are starting out by covering the canvas in just one overall color. And after we have covered all of our bases, we start adding the details. To be honest, this was the part that was the most challenging for me. I can't really give you solid tips on how to do this. For me personally, this just took a lot of experimentation and playing around and finding the right brushes and everything because I honestly didn't really know what I was doing. <gasps> the horror. But as with any art piece, you figure it out along the way. So for the bushes, I used a dark purple and then a darkish green you can't really see it on the video because the colors are too dark but it's not black I don't use black I don't like using black black makes my colors look dull and unsaturated and it's just you don't really get black in nature so why should I use it you get me so yeah basically the bushes are a mixture of dark purple and darkish green and i used a normal brush for this and then the grass i finally painted with a really thin small round brush i think at a point i did try to use a coarser brush for it but that also didn't really work that well and for the grass I used a brownish color something that you do have to remember about this picture in particular is that this is South Africa so we don't have a whole lot of green grass the grass tends to be long and yellow if you would cut down the grass you would find the green at the centers but because it's so very warm here um, the grass dries out it's normal and this picture was also taken pretty much when spring began maybe even before that so there definitely was no green grass around the grass in this picture will be a brownish hay colored oh and if you have any tips or ideas or if you just want to tell me the way that you paint grass especially long grass please go ahead and do that I can also use any help in this regard that you can give me um, I'd love to hear from you and I think this brings our video to an end pretty much so I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week bye